Samuel Osborne and Company was a steelmaker and engineering tool manufacturer situated in Sheffield, South Yorkshire. Topic Early life Samuel Osborne Jr. was born in Sheffield in 1826. His father, also named Samuel, was a partner in the firm of Clark and Osborne, makers of pocket knives, razors, brushes, and tortoiseshell combs. Samuel Jr. did not follow in father's footsteps but, leaving school at 15, he joined City Drapers, TB and W. Cocaine. After seven years he moved into the steel industry and joined toolmakers Thomas Ellen and son later moving to Henry Russell and Company where he became a traveling salesman. Topic. Branching out on his own In 1851 he set up on his own as a file manufacturer with premises in Broad Lane which were named Clyde Works. Within five years his company expanded and he rented a six-hole crucible furnace on Carver Street in the city center, whilst only the following year he set up a tilt and forge in the Philadelphia district of the city, the new site being named Brookhill Works. Osborne, like many other steel makers, showed an interest in his workers' health and in particular two of the major illnesses which affected the file-making industry, grinder's asthma and lead poisoning. By 1864 he discovered an amalgam to replace the soft bed of lead in which the files were placed when being cut by hand. To reduce contact between his workers and lead he developed a file cutting machine although the craftsmen were opposed fearing job losses and a loss of quality in their product, neither being proved to be true. Topic a new works and a new product Osborne's brother-in-law, William Fawcett, went into partnership with him in 1867 and new premises, in the Wicker area of the city, were bought the following year, these taking the name Clyde Steel and Iron Works, this becoming their main base of operations, the large head office of the company fronting the Wicker these buildings still stand and house retail businesses at street level and, above, the Sheffield and District Afro-Caribbean Cultural Association. In 1870 Osborne met Robert Forrester Mushet, an iron master working in the Forest of Dean where he was producing a new alloy steel, considered far superior to crucible steel. Osborne bought the sole rights to manufacture R. Mushet's Special Steel RMS and Mushet's two sons, Henry and Edward, moved up to Sheffield to oversee its manufacture. Business was booming with orders created by the Franco-Prussian War and the development of the railways. Topic the fall and rise of the company The Bubble, however, burst and in 1874 Osborne was forced to file for liquidation. With industrial development, a new market for Mushet's self-hardening steel was found in America and the company opened a London office. Taking on new partners and making connections in continental Europe he paid off all his creditors within 10 years, the company being registered as the second largest private enterprise in the Sheffield and District Steel and Allied Trades Association. Expanding again, in 1885 he bought and expanded the Rutland Works, in the Neepsend area of the city. Samuel Osborne died in 1891. The company, however, continued. Topic. Overseas development Looking for sales potential from overseas the company set up a South African subsidiary in 1919. Based in the mining area outside Johannesburg, the new company was founded to market their parent company's Sheffield made special steels for industry and, particularly, mining in South Africa. Topic 1960s rationalization It was seen in the mid-1960s that some rationalization was needed within the Sheffield steel industry, particularly steel founding. With respect to this Samuel Osborne and company split into separate divisions. Similar moves were taking place at Edgar Allen and Company, Jessup Savile and Company and Hadfields Limited. 
The intention was to merge the foundry interests of the four companies to form one large steel foundry with the capability of making castings from a few ounces to 40 tons, with only English Steel Corporation's Grimesthorpe foundry in the city able to make larger. As negotiations were taking place the deal fell through leaving Osborne and Hadfields to merge as Osborne Hadfields Steel Founders, with the foundry being located on Hadfields East Heckler Vulcan Road site. <laughs> 